Hello, Taurus. Um, we are behind on September reading, um, but pretty much going to read um, love and relationships. So this could be implying to last month during Virgo season, or it could be implying right now. So um, it depends on your situation, what you're going through. So um, it's pretty much love and relationship reading. So basically, I do feel like that something has to do with October. Or in the fall, um, I do feel like you've been in a very maybe standstill, stuck situation where you're needing to make a solid choice, a solid decision. And I feel like you've been a very um, emotional about it, especially when it comes to um, it could be about walking away, it could be about uh, something that you're trying to perceive. In your love and relationship, um, I do feel like there's a need to retreat. There is some type of celebration. There is something that you've been working hard at in this relationship. Um, I also feel like there's an offer of love here. There's an offer of commitment to further your growth with whoever you're with at the moment. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of stuck energy, like I said in the beginning. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of rebirth, a lot of growth, a lot of things that you're trying to create in this life with this partner or someone that you're dealing with. Um, maybe in some way you have a lot of empty, empty ideas of what to do. You're like you're not fully set. Because I do feel like this card I'm getting empty feeling. So maybe you're feeling empty either this month or last month where you... You're trying to do the best you can to, um, even though things are stuck and stagnant, you're trying to work hard at what you love and what you're committed to, but at the same time, there's a need to see the perspective of growth here, and I feel like that's where you need to go towards, something that's going to make you feel solid and stable, something that's going to long-term help you the most. Um... It could be something that has to do with the justice system. It could be something you're dealing with that needs to has resolution within it. Maybe within the justice system. So I am picking up that. Alright, so I'm led to go on the next cards, which is single Taurus and those in a relationship. Um, you have the single Taurus, the world card the high priestess and the lovers and death so um, in this situation whatever you're looking for in a relationship or what you're dealing with right now could be dealing with a Pisces a Gemini or a Scorpio and Virgo for some reason I'm getting Virgo um, a lot of changes are happening for you a lot of maybe jealousy, some greed, some things between a love situation. Maybe you're jealous of a love situation. Someone's jealous of you of a love situation. I do feel there's a need to end that cycle. There's a need to recalibrate your steps to really figure out what you want. Because I feel like regardless of being ready or not, I feel like changes are happening. Uh, maybe you're expecting at this time or someone you know is expecting um <clears throat> and it's bringing in a lot of change that maybe you're not ready but i do feel like there's a lot of transformation maybe with this pisces uh gemini scorpio virgo um but i do feel like there's a lot of underlining issues going on underneath there's a lot of jealousy there's a lot of two sides to the coin maybe there's two sides to people um but it's bringing a lot of pain it is bringing a lot of pleasure at the same time a lot of togetherness things are coming together um but i do feel like there's underlying issues going on that you're dealing with um that you personally have to go through Alright, so those in a relation, Tauruses, you have the High Priestess, the Fool, the Empress, and the Sun. 
So I feel like you're stepping in your power, those in the relationship. You feel empowered in this relationship. I feel like you're going towards something new, maybe in a new career, new atmosphere. When it comes to love, when it comes to being fully invested in something, maybe it's a new relationship. So you just got into something new. I do feel like it has the potential to be a good relationship, but I feel like maybe you're holding on to something else, like you're wanting something else. You're kind of in between two worlds. So those of you who are in a relationship or just got in a relationship, I do feel like you're, you're trying to see how things go in your relationship, but at the same time you're wanting something else. Deep down inside I feel like you're struggling with that. You're wanting something new. You're wanting something that really makes you happy. Um, it could be in a work situation. Someone you know or someone you bumped into work. Involving work. Maybe it has to do with an Aries. Maybe you're in a relationship with either Pisces or Aries. Um, maybe you have a child with someone. Um... I'm going to see if I can get clarity from that with these cards. I'm going to get these cards. Just wait a minute, Taurus. Um, but yeah, maybe you could have a child with someone, possibly, um, with an Aries, Pisces, or Empress. I do feel like maybe they're coming in. Maybe you're pregnant. Um, or someone you know is pregnant. Um, let's see if we can get clarity. There is a new beginning, maybe with a Pisces or an Aries or a Leo possibly. Um, but I feel like with the energies of it, stay in your ground because I feel like a new beginning um, is coming in. Um, I do see children. That's weird. I never noticed the one right here. Maybe there's something you never noticed. Could happen, happen. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm seeing two children. Um, maybe twins for some of you. Um, alright, so I got some clarity. Let's see what's going on. Alright, so we have the King of Swords. Uh, the Four of Swords. So maybe you're getting a message about a pregnancy truth of something with the emotions of love so I feel like maybe this child's offering a lot of love for this parent um, maybe something involving this child brought you two together um, I don't know why I'm getting that um, I mean I do know why I'm getting that but um, I, I, I really feel like there's something maybe you feel torn between a child and you're, you're defensive. So maybe you see the King of Swords defensive. Um, so maybe both of you are protecting your child. Maybe something happened and you're trying to protect your child. So I do feel like possibly it could be that you're pregnant or someone is pregnant and you're trying to be very protective of the situation because I do feel like there's a lot of power and a lot of connection to this situation and it's a new beginning but I feel like there's a need to be on guard and to step into your power. Maybe that's what's bringing in this new beginning. Um, I do feel like there could be some conflicts with family. Um, a lot of a lot of conflicts I do feel like that but I feel like with this new beginning you're gonna have to step into your power you're gonna have to reveal things about yourself um, but I really feel like both of you you and this other person are very protective of this child and so I do see that um, <clears throat> maybe you have a hard time to talk about it all right so, in the past, you have the mirror, the shaman, the wanderer, and the green woman in reverse. I do feel like this is a past life situation. 
you and another person were marrying each other. You came into this life and things were revealed to you about this person that it became a twin flame dynamic. Um, a lot of you are wanderers. I don't know if that's a word, you know, but I've heard of it before. <clears throat> Where you're just here to wonder. You're here to, uh, maybe you wonder about this connection and then things were unclear. But presently, there, there is undergoing communication what's happening. There is love, there is commitment, there is forward movement. Like I said, pregnancy. There is something to be said about this pregnancy that is um, moving forward in a direction. But I do feel like there's a lot of gossip, there's a lot of rumors happening, maybe about moving forward. But I feel like it's it's a need to get out of the fear mentality. <clears throat> I'm still having a hard time to talk. <laughs> My throat. Um, so clear your mind, clear yourself from the insanity of it all, and do the best you can move forward. Because I feel like karmically your past your your past is revealing to the present, per se. Because I feel like this relationship that you're into. It's a mere effect. So it's a past life connection. And things may be unrevealed to it. Of why it's so strong. But I do feel like presently. You need to ground yourself. You need to be clear on what you're going to do. Because I feel like here there's a, there's a need to be clear. So do ground yourself at this time. Taurus. And I hope that resonates with one of you out there. Bye-bye.